Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to God of War. Today, I want to try and gather the uh, remaining Valkyries. And for that, we're going to be exploring a few of the areas we've been to before and trying to tie up a few loose ends. And today, we're going to start with Alfheim. So we're back in the realm of the Dark Elves. I'm just going to, I think I'm pretty much going to ignore, yeah, Brock's shop. And I'll uh, see you guys whenever I find anything new. Because I find it uh, no. I missed it. Oh yeah, Mimir hasn't been here yet. Honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the light elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the light elves and dark elves are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than two hundred and thirteen times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Aha. Uh -huh. So this has been going on for incredibly long. But as I was saying, I think I know where what the uh, hidden chamber is in here. Sir. So we might find another Valkyrie it here. It's about the eternal war for the light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely. So we can read those things before because I don't think we had the cipher for it, if I recall correctly. Because um, now it disappeared, and I'm pretty sure I tried to read it before. Oh, hi. Okay. And grab this guy, so easily stunned in the back. And then just make him into a shish kebab. There he goes. And there we go. Dark Elves are no problem anymore. What the hell? Was that a prompt? No, it's just some particle flying around. Moving on. So, clear this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves. Right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalia. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh, well, that's sad. It is, but that was uh, some cultural uh, criticism there. So, on the left side of the huge lake in uh, Alfheim, so right over here, there was this other hidden chamber that we found before. So let's crack this one open. There we go. Two taps was all it took. And heading inside, because there must be another Valkyrie hiding down here, because otherwise we're missing one. Um, there we go, five out of seven opened. The hidden chamber of Odin, I suppose, because yeah, they're, they're all from Odin. Which kind of makes you wonder, the, 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 the running theory right now is that the Valkyrie Queen was the one that imprisoned all the Valkyries, but all of these chambers are called hidden chamber of Odin. So maybe the Valkyrie is just doing Odin's biz bidding? Since, yeah, I think they're always doing that, but this one might have been really specific. There we go. And yeah, we definitely have a Valkyrie. It looks like a pretty pale one this time around. Just gonna crack open all the chests and then we'll uh, have a little chat with her. Meaning I'm gonna whack her with my axe. So full disclosure, I have been um, farming Niflheim a bit. On my action. And uh, for that reason, I've uh, upgraded, I think, pretty much... Uh, I think the gauntlets and the waist uh, armor are now fully leveled and the chest armor is almost there. So one more level needed for that. But let's see how, how we do against this uh, lovely lady. She seems to be a bit sturdier than the other ones. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, walking. Yeah, okay. Lost her focus. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She doesn't seem that happy I'm just gonna finish it off because I think I'm a bit over leveled for this one. Yeah, she's going down. Oh. Oh, yeah. And whack, that's going to be enough. Oh, wow. She didn't even hit me there. Oh, fuck. Okay, she got me off guard there. Never mind. She's uh, not so stun. Um, yeah, she doesn't stun easily at the end there. But never mind, let's kill her. Oh, wow. She can do that really quickly there. And Spartan Rage engaged. Smack. Smack. Come on. Yeah, there she goes. There she goes. She had a few really, really quick attacks, like the Valhalla was the same as Gondol from Muspelheim. But without the uh, the extra warning there, so it was really, really quick there. You have freed me. You're welcome, Aldrin. Who did this to you? I remember only pain. And my queen, she locked me down here? But why? Ah, oh, Sigrun. I must leave you now. I must find her. I must remember. Okay, so that's the confirmation that the Valkyrie Queen actually did imprison the other eight Valkyries. But why, indeed? Ulrun, there we go. That's our uh, sixth Valkyrie, I think. Sounds yep. like your there we go. His responsible head. Aye. The pickups are when freaking out. When I saw her last, she was different, changed, and not just that she was in physical form; she was more volatile. She. I tried to talk to her about it, but she had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Mimir. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible? Then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's going to watch your back? Atreus. But what the hell are the pickups doing, by the way? Let's pick those up. That is, alright, the waste guard of the Valkyrie 3 Warrior's Armor. Favorite around Valgan stats, and that's the same as always. Then we get Evaldi's Corrupted Mind. Nearby enemies within 15 meters are weakened. That sounds amazingly powerful. And then perfect as Guardian Steel. Okay, that's great because I'm actually working on the Valkyrie armor set as well. Because some of that has really, really nice, uh, nice perks. And there we go. All right. 
That's a nice upgrade. I'm gonna check out that enchantment because that sounds really, really powerful. So yeah, Ivaldi's Corrupted Mind. That sounds like it could fit in that uh, that Infinity Gauntlet because it could be the Mind Stone, but uh, Ivaldi's Corrupted Mind. So a lot of stat bonuses and nearby enemies within 15 meters are automatically weakened. That sounds like something I really want. Yeah, let's try that out. It feels, it sounds like it's powerful because there's a pommel um, the curse bringer, I think it's called, that actually does that as well, but just has a chance of doing it. This is completely different. Um, and I think that's it for Alfheim. We're gonna head back to another realm we haven't been to uh, in a while. We're gonna go back to Helheim next. There's a few of those electric, uh, well, blocked off doors that we couldn't access before, but now we have a Treyas back, we can actually do that. So see you guys in a second. So, back in Helheim, I've uh, upgraded my Axe Pommel to the maximum with the uh, stuff we got from the Valkyrie. And uh, that means that possibly the next one is right here. Because uh, there were a few side areas, I'm just gonna check them out if it's nothing. Can't believe we're back in hell. And then we'll be back uh, in Midgard soon the enough. For those visions will torture us. The cool thing about uh, getting this high level in God of War is that your skills actually uh, improve with your stats. So for example, this one, the end of the combo now actually leaves a flaming spot that actually damages enemies as well. Okay. Atreus didn't want to fire there for some reason. Alright, so the areas we're looking for are these ones up here. So there's one over here and one over there. So let's just try this one first. Just waiting for Atreus to climb up and then blow that open. So this is a chest. Fair enough. And it appears to go down as well. There might be more here than uh, meets the eye. What's this? Aha, there's another... Yeah, there's a bridge underneath here as well. Right, I remember this. Because there was a gold chest behind it. So let's open that up. Ooh. The Charm of Infinite Storms. There it is, because we found a few materials that could upgrade this thing. It's an epic talisman. Summon a storm of ice that prevents Kratos' attacks from being interrupted, reduces the amount of damage he takes, and inflicts normal and frost damage to all nearby enemies. This sounds like one hell of a thing, and it seems to be upgradable three times, which is a rarity. Hmm. Let's hold on to that for now. Because if that gets enchantment slots, that might become the strongest thing I have. That's... Awesome, okay, I'm already glad that I returned here. So, then the opposite one. It seems like a bigger building. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what I was hoping for. And we found our seventh hidden chamber. So yeah, as I thought, we were still missing one. One we didn't find. And uh, this one didn't really have a door. So, uh, let's go down. And see where the next Valkyrie is hiding. So that actually means that in every hidden chamber we have left there's still a Valkyrie. Which begs the difference, we only found one empty chamber. Wait, did we? Because wait, there's seven chambers. But we already fought two Valkyries outside of... Yeah, there's eight. So there's one chamber that doesn't have... One Valkyrie that doesn't really have an origin chamber, and that's the ones from Niflheim and Muspelheim came from the same chamber. Which is also possible. But it's weird that they make the the uh, the effort to explain that there was an empty chamber because of one of the Valkyries called out. But there are actually two outside of chambers. Okay, again, no side area, so... Let me guess, there's a Valkyrie in here. Yep. Well, are we gonna fight her? There's a trap spirit in there. Quiet head. Okay. Well, I guess we can start this with style. Okay. Oh god, she can do that multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh Gott. Oh, she can do... The bitch can do that multiple times in a row. Okay. for now. Okay. Oh yeah, she got me. I got too uh, caught up in the uh, in the attacks. Oh, that was a, a misfire there. What's that purple effect coming out of her sometimes? She is getting pummeled. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this with the uh, Spartan Rage. And down she goes. There we go. First try in this one. I'm getting really, really good at this. These ones. Valkyrie seven down. I kind of start to feel bad just beating up women with wings, but thank you, Ruta. But why was I imprisoned? We think your queen did this to you. But why would Sigrun hinder our duty? That's the mystery we're trying to solve, milady. Can you think of any reason she would have to do this? No. Without the Valkyries, those who died in battle will not see Valhalla. Helheim will overflow with the souls of the departed and drown Midgard in a sea of vengeful corpses. No greater shame exists for a Valkyrie. I must go. Attempt to staunch the bleeding. Farewell. Wait. Well, that starts to explain a few things. But first, let's get the helmet and let's uh, let Mimir do his talk, because I'm supposing he's uh, he's got some things to say about this. Here we go. Goodbye, Rota. I believe you have your answer, Head. The Queen opposes Odin. She imprisoned the Valkyries to defy him. Sigrun hated Odin, no doubt about that. But her duty, her responsibility... Would she really forsake these things to get back at Odin? Nah, I don't believe it. I do. Hate is stronger than duty. We have to find the queen. We have to stop her. I'm sorry, Mimir. Aye. Don't be sorry, lad. Sigrun brought this on herself. Only wish... Well, wishing only gets you so far. Indeed How will it we does. Find her? I'm afraid I don't know. She could be anywhere. Any realm. We'll find her. We have to. All of Midgard is counting on us. Well, I'm guessing she's gonna come at us if we find the last Valkyrie, but, um... Yeah, the, but my theory... Well, not really a theory, probably that's exactly what they want us to believe, is we know that the Scourge of the Undead, well, the the, the Reavers and the, the, the Hellwalkers, are all new things. So the fact that spirits are still walking the Earth is something new. And we know that the gods, the Aesir, actually fear what's going on. So we know they're probably not responsible for what happened. So the fact that the Valkyrie Queen did this on purpose to flood Heldheim with corpses and in return Midgard as well, that could actually make sense. So there we go, more perfect Asgardian steel. And then we get two extra thingies usually. We get Asgard's Shard of Existence. Holding L1 for several seconds grants fortification, causing an explosive knockback after the next successful block. 
Okay, that's on an enchantment. That's an ability on an enchantment. That's interesting. And then the last thing, uh, I have all the armor pieces, but maybe we don't have the blades pommel yet. And there we go. Grips of the Valkyrie Epic Blades Pommel. Low perk activation chance on any successful blades hit. To grant power of the Valkyrie increases strength and runic. So that's the same thing as the one I'm using now, I think. But on the blades. And actually, that's my first exotic blade pommel. So definitely equip that. So I haven't swapped out the blades pommel yet because it's not uh, leveled up yet. So it's weaker than what I have equipped right now. But I want to check out this fortification. So holding L1 for several seconds which is just blocking, grants fortification. Oh my god, that is awesome. So if I turtle up, I just get an, a free explosive knockback effect. Oh, that is cool. Okay, definitely keeping that. On to the last one, and for once I actually know for certain where the last one is. Because uh, we're gonna go back out of hell, and we're gonna go back to the mountain, because the last one is, I'm pretty sure, is in the middle of the mountain. So let's head there right now. So I'm going back through the mountain, and apparently I missed one of those tablet thingies. So I just picked up a crystal. Easy does it. And fire away. There we go, let's read that. Here we bear witness to the funeral rites of Fjörgen of the Jutnar, goddess of the earth and trees. For her beauty she was seduced, for her love she was betrayed, and for her gift of life her life was claimed. To the summit and across the bridge she shall be born, where, where never more the thunder may find her. Did Thor kill his own mother? Was that the first giant he killed? What does it mean? Well, we kind of heard that story before, so it's uh, kind of old news for us. But yeah, let's continue going up. So, if my memory serves me correctly, then the last one is supposed to be in here. I saw a wolf. You shall not be annoying me, buddy. Oh, yes he will. Ah, uh, smack. God damn wolves. Every single time. By the way, I've uh, upgraded the axe pommel. And I actually... Uh, the, the Not the axe pommel, the, uh, the blades pommel. So the Valkyrie blades pommel. And I've actually run out of hack silver. I had a lot of hack silver, but apparently I just, I just ran out. So yeah, we have that. And then we have this artifact that I missed, apparently, so bottoms up, 5 out of 6. There's a trophy for getting uh, all the artifacts as well, so I might have to do that later on. That's not much, but as I said, if memory serves, yeah, there it is, in the corner, is our final hidden chamber. So I don't think we get a trophy for just opening them up. We'll probably have to uh, kill all the Valkyries, including the Valkyrie Queen, I suppose, to get a trophy. But uh, opening this bad boy up, and apparently tough enough to uh, require three pushes. So I'm wondering if this is going to be the biggest challenge yet. So there we go, labor complete. We got a bunch of experience for completing all the hidden, opening all the hidden chambers. But what is down here? Oh, probably the eighth uh, Valkyrie. By the way, another thing that's very interesting to note is that these Valkyries have like dialogue that stacks, so it's it's a continuation of the story. But what if you do the Valkyries in a different order? I'm, I'm assuming you could do them easily in a different order than I just did. Do all the different voice actresses, did, did they all do the same lines? And you just get to hear one of those lines for each actress? Or did they just use the same actress for all of them and she did a funny voice for different Valkyries? Yeah, this place looks a bit dark, by the way. Because, yeah, like, upgrading the, the Valkyrie stuff to the maximum requires, like, 70,000 hack silver. And I'm only getting a few per pop, so... Well, we're getting 4k per pop, but still. Still. And those 14 pieces of hack silver aren't gonna help me, but... Our next Valkyrie. Our one-to-last Valkyrie. I don't actually have my reach meter filled this time. So that might be a problem. It might not be a problem, depending on how this 
particular woman is leveled. It's another Valkyrie. Indeed. Can we try to free her? Mm. We can't just leave her like this, brother. Do not rush me, Ed. When we are prepared, I will attack. This is... Um... <laughs> I don't like that, but um, this is a completely different design. Well, not design, a different lighting than the other chambers. It's weird. And different design as well, because it's smaller. Hmm. Let's start out with a meteor shower, shall we? Eh. Oh, yeah, she has that attack. Great. Okay. Oh, she can block. Oh, God. Aha, you can do the uh, remove block attack the same way as you can do the other ones. No, no. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, interesting. Close quarters. Yep, yeah, there we go. Powered up. Oh god. There she goes. No, no. Yeah, she's powered up. Oh, God. Oh, God. She hit me there. And then the runic attack. There we go. Yeah, we almost have it. Walk away and in the face. There we go. Yeah, golden. Second try. Okay. She's a bit more technical, but one wing and two wings. Down she goes, eight Valkyrie down. We're breathing through these. Freedom. But this was a nice Where switch. Is your queen? My queen? She did this to you. She's letting the dead take over Midgar. This cannot be. I didn't want to believe it either, milady. But we have to find her. Where is she? I can't say for sure, but the rock stole of Valkyrs. If the Council of Eight are reunited. Perhaps she will answer our call. Okay, as expected. So if we put all the throne, the all the the helmets on the thrones, she will have no other choice than to appear. And I'm assuming she will be our greatest challenge yet. Because I've heard a few things about the Valkyrie Queen. Looks like this was our last one. I lied. Want to the rook stole our Valkyrs then? If you remember, it's next to the two oarsmen statues on the path we took to Thanlur's chisel. This queen of yours, she is strong, yes? Stronger than these other Valkyries we have faced. That's putting it mildly, brother. Then we must prepare ourselves. Ooh, gain a burst of speed and travel an increased distance when evading. I have the wing chosen. Why check that out? Because that sounds really cool. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. What is he doing? With the little knife, okay. More Asgardian steel. And then we get 
Whatever that may be, Valkyrie's Might Epic Axe Pommel. Moderate perk activation chance on any successful executioner's cleave, that's really specific. The Grand Strike of the Valkyrie causing a massive explosion on the next attack. The low perk activation chance to cause an explosion on any successful hit. Okay, makes you forced to uh, use the executioner's cleave a bit. And perfect as Guardian Steel. Fair enough. We might be able to upgrade one or two things with that before we leave, but I'm guessing we're gonna head towards the uh, the Council of Valkyries. So see you guys there Atreus, in a me. second. So, no detours this time. Straight teleportation to the Council of Valkyries. Um, I'm guessing that the Queen will have the abilities of all the other Valkyries combined, which is not well, unbeatable, because we started getting more and more combinations with the later Valkyries anyway, so... Let's put her hat... over here. And let's have a little chat with... This is none other than Gerdrifo, the Master of Arms in Valhalla. Responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheria. His what? His army come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Ain here you are, wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdry Fool had her hands full training that lot. Alright, that's actually really cool. So the best warriors in uh, Valhalla were trained to be Odin's personal army. Next one. And the next one is... This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. Yeah, because all of her work has been lying around. The number seven is going to be another lovely lady. And uh, she is... Ah, here we have Air, the healer. A Valkyrie healer? Strange. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet, very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, Air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Uh, not my proudest moment. <laughs> okay, Mimir, that indeed doesn't sound like your proudest moment. But the last one is probably the last one we just beat. If I'm not mistaken. And she is... Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain. She fell defending him during a reaver attack. Orun was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up a Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Orun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. Okay. But that means, yep. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, I'm guessing there's there's no point in delaying this. Let's get our asses kicked and open this up. Oh, great! I'm glad I did. I didn't take damage for that immediately. Oh. Okay. Damn it. Sigrun! There we go. And dodge! Oh! Okay, so that's Muspelheim. That's, I can block that. And then just dodge. Two. Ah, oh, crap. I need to remember that sideway. Oh, 
Oh, I can't see a thing. Oh, fuck yeah. Hello, Valkyrie Queen. I'm just gonna do this a bit. Okay. Oh crap, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, as expected. So, as expected, she does all the attacks of the Elder Valkyries. The only few things I haven't seen her do just yet is the Ice Storm attack from uh, Kara, I think her name was, from in uh, Niflheim. And the spawning of extra Draugr, which might actually be added in a second. She looks awesome, by the way. Oh, fuck her. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck. No, yeah. I'm just gonna die. Ah, uh, I can't, I can't differentiate. Oh, god, yeah. I'm down. She doesn't scream when she do does that, by the way. Oh! There she is. Oh, fuck. Gas storm, and then the big one. Two, three, and big one, and then I can do this. And I just whack it in the back. Oh god! And smack. She's already powered up. This is getting kind of hairy. Just take advantage of the. Ah. Oh. Always want to dodge when she does that. Ooh, that was close. This is a very long fight, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm down. Oh. Ah. Oh, I lost it. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Oh, what? I blocked that. Oh, oh fuck off. Oh. Oh, one of them got off. Oh. Oh. The flip and stab every... Oh, fuck. Didn't do the runic attack. Uh, switch. And then throw it in her ass. Jump on it. Let's switch again. Because I have my uh, frost back. Oh, God. She doesn't stun after that attack, it's weird. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh, I was almost out of rhythm there. And an attack! Two. And three, and then just Hyperion slam her ass, switch to the axe, and start whacking her again. Oh, fuck off. And smack. Oh, God. Just gonna go back a bit. Oh god! Jesus! And jump it! Oh god. Oh god, just got the just turned the camera in time. One two three and uh, frost Damn it. Still got Spartan Rage. Oh, 
fire, fire, fire. Oh no, that was bullshit. She recovered mad attack. And smack. As long as I can do this, I'm fine. Okay, it's time to do this. Can I get it? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Calm down. Dodge. Dodge. Dodge and appear in slam. Yes! Here we go! Down goes the Falcon Queen! One wing! Two wings! Down use! Amazing creature! <laughs> Holy flip! Thank we you. did it! You have saved the Valkyries. Sigrun. Wait. How did this happen? Why Where? did you win? Is that you? Captured You have been them all. freed, but... Freedom comes at a price, milady. Indeed it does. Speak truly. Countless winters we serve the Allfather. But only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one Queen of the Valkyries, the goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. Wow. That was cool. That was amazing. Holy crap. That was some fight. I don't know how many tries it took me. It was about an hour and a half of footage. So yeah. Sigrun, the Valkyrie well, Queen down. Did it, I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm Chooser of the slain. The free. But so much of this could have been avoided if only... You said it yourself, head. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this helm. Your dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Definitely. Yeah, definitely indeed. So we were kind of wrong. They kind of led us along the wrong path. So uh, yeah, she, the Valkyries were corrupted by Odin and Sigrun did her very best to try and contain the corruption by imprisoning them in a the body and just capturing them down in the folds. But uh, yeah, eventually it took herself as well. But now that we freed them all, it seems like the corruption must have gone. And another interesting tidbit is of course that Freya was originally the uh, Queen of the Valkyries. Retribution, Epic Axe Pommel, R1, R1 Axe Throw and Recall become incredibly powerful. Low perk activation chance to strike with a massively damaging explosion on any successful hit. That sounds awesome. So let's just get rid of the health stones. Njord's Temporal Stone. Epic enchantment, very low perk activation chance to temporarily slow nearby enemies when damage is taken. Not the most useful thing, because of course you want to avoid taking damage. Uh, and then we have more perfect as Guardian Steel. Is that just one pop of it? Doesn't show me. Um, you know what? To end the episode, I'll head back to Brock and Sindri, and we'll see what else we can make. Because I think we can make uh, some very nice new armor. Wait, so Freya is the Valkyrie Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was Queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. 
I never knew how much until now. Okay. So, not really more information. It was just part of her uh, marriage treasure that she got to uh, become the Valkyrie Queen. But let's have a little chat with Brock and Cindy because they might actually say something now. No, they don't. They don't remark about the uh, Valkyrie stuff. So, let's get crafting. So there we go, I stepped outside to show this off, because this is the complete Valkyrie set. I haven't upgraded everything yet, because as I said, I've, uh, yeah, I'm a bit stuck on hack silver. So I sold all my Aegis gold, that uh, got me a lot of hack silver, but it's just so damn expensive to upgrade this stuff. And you can also sell the helmet from the Valkyrie Queen for 100,000 hack silver, but still not enough to get me everything. So I'm probably gonna grind a few things out in between. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode so thank you guys enormously for watching and next time we i think we might be able to do the three realm tears in niflheim and uh, we'll do the rest of the story after that because i think we're getting too close to the ending of the game so thank you guys enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode of god of war goodbye